Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. In one of our previous videos, we talked about how optic fibers are used for communication. Today, we'll discuss how they can be used to measure pressure. Let's take a balloon and fill air in it. At a fixed position, let's keep a laser beam. Let's switch on the laser beam such that it hits the half-filled balloon and is reflected back. Now, let's fill the balloon completely with air and strike a light on it again. Now, we will notice that the ray travels a shorter distance and gets reflected back. A similar idea is used in fiber optic pressure sensors. In this video, we'll be discussing the construction, working, advantages, disadvantages and applications of the fiber optic pressure sensor. The construction of the fiber optic sensor is very simple. The sensor consists of an optic fiber and has two reflecting surfaces. The first reflecting surface is semi-reflective and is coated with a dielectric medium. The second reflecting surface forms the diaphragm which is placed in front of the optic fiber. Behind the second reflecting surface, the unknown pressure to be measured is placed. The two reflecting surfaces are kept at a distance of LS. And this cavity between the two surfaces is termed as fabry perot cavity. By measuring the distance LS, the unknown pressure can be determined. Now, white light is passed to measure the pressure. Now, the question may arise, why specifically white light? We know that white light is a combination of several other colors having different wavelengths. When the light is passed through the fiber, a part of the light hits the first reflecting surface and bounces back and the rest reflects back from the second reflecting surface. After reflection, these lights get superimposed and by measuring the distance traveled by the light, the pressure can be determined. By calculating LS, this unknown pressure will be determined. The time difference between the two rays can be given by T equals 2 LS by C, where C is the speed of light in vacuum. Now that we've seen the construction and working, Let's discuss the advantages of the fiber optic pressure sensor. One of the main advantages of using the fiber optic pressure sensor is that they are immune to electromagnetic waves and because of this, the reflected signal gives accurate measurements. The size of the optic fiber is also very small and this makes it possible for them to be in narrow areas where other sensors find difficulty in being placed. Finally, the fiber optic sensor has a fast response time. Next, we have the disadvantages of the fiber optic pressure sensor. The fact that they are highly sensitive can sometimes make them susceptible to acoustic waves. Furthermore, their thin size makes them less robust when compared to other sensors. Now let's check out the applications. Since they are immune to electromagnetic waves, they are very useful in harsh environments. They are extensively used for medical purposes, for measuring pressure in the lungs, digestive tract, brain, etc. With this, we will end our video here on fiber optic pressure sensors. We'll see you in the next video with more interesting concepts. Until then, bye!